Good day everyone! Welcome back to Math A YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa channel na ito, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more updates. Our lesson for today is about converse, inverse, and contrapositive statements. In our previous video, we discussed about conditional statement. So, pag sinabi natin conditional statement, it is also called as if-then statement, where if statement is our hypothesis and then statement is our conclusion. So, example, if the number is even, then it is divisible by 2. Sa ating statement, Ang tinatawag na hypothesis ay, the number is even. At ang ating conclusion naman ay, it is divisible by 2. Okay, so let us proceed to our discussion. Conditional statement. In symbols, we can write a conditional statement as, if P, then Q. Or, if P, then Q. So, P is our hypothesis and Q is our conclusion. Next is converse statement. Pag sinabi natin converse statement, by switching the position of hypothesis and conclusion, then we can form a converse statement. In symbols, we can write a converse statement as if Q, then P, or if Q, then P. So, mauuna ang ating conclusion and then our hypothesis. Next is the inverse statement. By negating the hypothesis and conclusion of the conditional statement, then we can form an inverse statement. In symbols, we can write an inverse statement as if not P, then not Q. Or, if not P, then not Q. So, ibig sabihin, magiging negative ang ating hypothesis at ang ating conclusion. So, nagkaroon tayo ng word na not. Next, contrapositive statement. By negating the converse statement, then we can form a contrapositive statement. In symbols, we can write a contrapositive statement as if not Q, then not P. Or if not Q, then not P. So this time, naging negative naman ang ating converse statement. So nagkaroon ulit ng not sa ating conclusion and then sa ating hypothesis. Okay. So, para mas lalo nating maintindihan ang ating lesson para sa araw na ito, let us answer this activity. So, ang instruction, given the conditional statement, identify the hypothesis and conclusion. Then, convert the conditional statement into converse, inverse, and contrapositive statement. So, ang given conditional statement natin ay, if the number is even, then it is divisible by 2. Okay? So, pag conditional statement, we have the symbol, if P, then Q. So, identify muna natin ano ang ating P, which stands for hypothesis. Okay? So, ang ating hypothesis ay, the number is even. Next, Ano naman ang ating Q o yung tinatawag nating conclusion? So, the answer is, it is divisible by 2. So, ito ay nakuha natin sa ating given conditional statement. Next, pwede na nating kunin ngayon ang converse statement. So, ang symbol for converse statement is, if Q, then P. So, nagkaroon ng swapping sa ating position ng Q at ng P. So, our converse statement is, 
if it is divisible by 2, then the number is even. So, this time, nauna ang ating conclusion, then followed by our hypothesis. Next, ang ating inverse statement naman ay, if not P, then not Q. So, our answer is, if the number is not even, then it is not divisible by 2. So, ano ang nangyari sa ating conditional statement? So, nagkaroon ng negation ang ating hypothesis at conclusion. So, nagkaroon ng word na not doon sa ating hypothesis at sa ating conclusion. Next, our contrapositive statement in symbols, we have if not Q, then not P. Okay? So, ito naman ay negation ng ating converse statement. Kaya ang sagot ay magiging if it is not divisible by 2, then a number is not even. Kung titignan natin ang converse statement, nagkaroon ng word na not sa ating conclusion at hypothesis. Okay? Kung i-compare naman natin ang contrapositive statement sa inverse statement, binaligtad lang natin ang positioning ng hypothesis and conclusion. Next example, ang given conditional statement ay, if two angles are supplementary, then the sum of its measures is 180 degrees. So ano ang ating P or hypothesis? So, ang hypothesis ay, two angles are supplementary. At ang ating conclusion or Q ay, the sum of its measures is 180 degrees. So, kunin natin ngayon ang converse statement. So, again, in symbols, we have if Q, then P. So, pagpapalitin natin ang position ng hypothesis at conclusion. So, our answer will be, if the sum of its measures is 180 degrees, then two angles are supplementary. So, nagkaroon ng swapping sa ating hypothesis at conclusion. Next, our inverse statement is, if not P, then not Q. So, our answer is, if two angles are not supplementary, then the sum of its measures is not 180 degrees. Okay? So, nagkaroon ng negation ang ating conditional statement dito sa ating hypothesis at conclusion. Okay? So, nagkaroon ng word na not supplementary at saka not 180 degrees. Next, ang contrapositive statement naman ay if not Q, then not P. So, our answer is, if the sum of its measures is not 180 degrees, then two angles are not supplementary. So, ito naman ang negation ng ating converse statement. So, ang negation ng converse statement ay tinatawag na contrapositive statement. And also, Ang contrapositive statement natin ay swapping ng position ng ating hypothesis at conclusion sa inverse statement. Okay, so that ends our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Teacher Grace. See you again next time. Bye!